More than half a million Israelis suffer from rare syndromes that medical teams don't know how to treat. And one of those is Gorlin syndrome, a rare genetic disease that increases the risk of developing cancerous tumours. And one Israeli patient is trying to find others with the disease both locally and abroad to boost numbers in a medical trial she's involved in in the hopes that more numbers will improve the study's results. And Orit Ridner joins me in studio. Orit, great to have you with us. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. No, it's fine. Perfect. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about uh, about this syndrome and what are, what its symptoms are. Well, as you said, it's a rare it's a rare disease, um, and the body produces an enormous amount of uh, BCCs, basal cell cancer, carcinoma, cancer um, mm -hmm. skin, mm -hmm. and skin cancer. Sorry, and um, it actually hurts all the organs of the the brain, the 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 chest, the teeth. Uh, the women have ovarian fibromas, uh, babies are born with metablastoma mm. in their brain. How did you discover you had this syndrome? Uh, when I was little, I was actually I was living in the States and I visited Israel and my stomach hurt. And my father thought I was being spoiled. And uh, I kept saying, well, my stomach hurts, my stomach hurts. And when we went back to the States to have it checked, they said, you have an ovarian fibroma. Mm -hmm. And um, we didn't know then. And then I, by the time I was 16, I had uh, keratocysts in my mouth, which oh. are like in your gums, little oh. cysts. Mm -hmm. And that dentist in England, he's the one who told me, he goes, you have Gordon syndrome. Mm. And it's been so long since then now. I mean, you talked about being a little girl, and right. now there's still uh, no treatment and no cure no for cure. the syndrome itself. So talk me through what you're doing to try and improve your chances for there to be a cure. Well, right now we have on the market, there are two creams. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, one is a pill and one is a cream. And now a third company in Denmark, uh, Leo Pharma, uh, they are um, producing a new cream for us. Mm -hmm. And um, we're trying to find, like, like you mentioned, we're trying to find patients. Okay. And, uh, and you're looking for more people in Israel. What exactly. can you tell us about the work you're doing here? Okay, I've opened up an NGO, it's a patient organization. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're trying to find patients. I know there's patients. It's one in 30,000. So according to the population, there must be at least 300 patients in Israel. OK, wow. Well, I'm sure it's not only uh, helpful to have them known in order to help them get treatment, but to be supportive to each other. So Orit, thank exactly. you so much for the work that you're doing. Thank you very much. Thank, thank, you. thank you for having me.